Yo, what's going on guys, so I'm here now today we are talking about the best way to make gold in World of Warcraft. Now if you ask any gold farmer out there, anyone who's trying to make gold, they will tell you this is the most efficient way to make gold in the game. And this is playing the auction house, you can either flip items or snipe items, there's basically two different ways of doing this. But we're going to talk about flipping items first and then a brief talk about sniping items, but that's not really... Sniping isn't as difficult as flipping, so we're going to talk about flipping first, and you can basically make millions with this. In this video we'll talk about how to flip items in general, and how to get rich by playing the auction house by flipping and sniping. So, by flipping items I mean buying items cheap and reposting them expensive. So as an example, on my realm the Great Sea Ray, the new BFA fishing mount, was priced at 7k each, and there were about 20 auctions up. I bought all 20 of them for 7k each, spending 140k gold. I reposted 5 of them for 30k each, and they all sold overnight when I was sleeping. So by reselling 5 of the 20 mounts that I bought, I made my invested gold back, plus 10k profit. And I basically got 15 mounts for free, and I got 10k profit, and I'll be selling those 15 mounts for even more profit later on. So quickly explain, flipping in an item means buying every other auctions of that item and posing it more expensive. And another example of this is when, well, Anchor Weed was priced at 20, no, 200 gold each, 200 to 350 gold each on my server, and I knew Anchor Weed was going to be in demand when raids come out, because people need to buy them to make flasks, and yeah, so I was buying them out for 200 to, to 350 gold each, and I bought thousands of them for 200 to 350 gold each, and I bought them both in trade chat and in the auction house. I bought up every single auction, and I reposted them at 700 gold each, and every single one of my auctions sold over like two days. And by flipping that item, I bought out every single auction under mine as well, so I posted them at 700 gold each, and I was spamming the auction house, refreshing the page all the time, and I was buying out every auction that was priced less than my auctions. So basically I was controlling the market for Anchor Weed for like two days, except Trade Chat because he can't really control Trade Chat, but I was controlling the auction house for Anchor Weed for two days, and by doing that I made the price on my realm for Anchor Weed go from 250 gold to 350 gold up to 800 gold over two days. And the price on my realm has now been staying at 800 gold for over a week, so by me doing this alone, I've made the price of Anchor Weed go up by over 500 gold per Anchor Weed. So this is a really good way of doing this, just flipping items, but by, by flipping an item you need to have the gold to buy out every single auction of that item, and that means you need to have quite a few gold. But this also depends on which item you're planning to basically, basically control, because controlling the Great Sea Ray for me when there was 20 auctions up, it only cost me 140k gold. That's basically one WoW token, which is, well, £20, so by investing £20 into the game, you can control the market for Great Sea Ray and make profit that way. But if when I was doing the Anchor Weed, I think I had to cash out about 800k gold to control the market, which is, again, not really that much. But I'm on a medium pop realm, if you're on a high pop realm, you probably would have had to cash out several millions to actually control the market, but you make your investment back, usually. But it depends on how smart you do this, because to play the auction house you need to know your market extremely well, and you need to know how when the price is going to go up, and which ones are going to go up, and which ones are going to stay the way they are. Because even if you try to control the market, unless you spam the auction house 24-7, it's not going to work. So by doing this you have to like put aside your sleeping schedule, you should be like... You should sleep when other people sleep, basically, because when most people are online on your realm, you want to be there controlling the auction house. So, yes, items that flipping works well with would be mounts, toys, high tier transmog items, battle pets, and general items with a high sell rate like current expansion materials and BOEs. So, by flipping an item you want to have control of the item, right, and by doing this, if you're going to do this on a transmog items like Papal Fest, if there's several of those on your auction house, they probably sell for, I don't know, 10 mil gold each, they're really rare. It's like a very, very rare drop from Uldaman, you need to farm for weeks, it has like a really stupidly low drop chance. But once again, this depends on how which item you want to control, how much gold you have, how well you know your market. You need to know it extremely well, once again. But controlling transmog items is really good, if, especially if you're in a high pop realm, because the more people play, the more people will be interested in transmog and the more pe potential buyers you have. 
So if you're in a hypo problem, I would say controlling transmog items could be a good idea, mounts as well probably, and toys, because those three categories are collectibles that people collect. Like there are mount farmers out there trying to farm either achievement points, or just farming to have every single mount in the game, and the same goes for toys, battle pets, and transmog. It's just for collectors, and there's a lot of them, especially if you're in a hypo realm, there's a lot of collectors, and... Right now, like in this, if you're watching this in a couple of days of this being uploaded, I would say there's a list of pretty good items that you could invest in right now. And my list of items that I'm investing in is Anchorweed, Midnight Salmon, Redtail Loach, Frenzied Fangtooth, Meaty Haunch, Stringy Loins, Augment Runes, and the Battle for Azeroth Herbs. The reason for this is that all of these materials that I just listed are used in feasts and flasks and potions. So, by investing in these items right now, you need to have cooking and alchemy, and you want to have the recipes for both the feast, flask, and potions at rank 3. The feast only re reduces the materials required to make the feast, but for the flasks and the potions, having rank 3 makes it have a ability to proc, basically giving you more flasks per material. So it's a really good rank to have, you need to have rank 3 of both flasks, potions, and the feast, and you need to buy those items I just listed, and you'll be making tons of gold, but it depends on when you buy them. I might be too late making this video, but I didn't really want to give this secret to too many people. But once again, I just wanted to give you the basic idea of how to play the auction house and how to flip items. So basically, once again, you're buying out every single item of one item on the auction house and basically controlling the market flow for one item. And you, so for some items you need to have several millions, for some you need to have 2k. It depends on how small you want to start, and for if you're new on a server, just control an old, old material. So just control some, I don't know, just control anything, any material, any old material, material that people farm for and use in crafting transmog and crafting old world items, you can control that as well. So eternal fire and stuff like that, mode of fire and stuff like that usually sells those elemental items from old world content. Usually the Wrath of the Lich King ones and the Cataclysm ones sells quite well, and I think that's because people use them both to make mounts and to make transmog, but if you're new on a realm, just invest in low value items first and just flip those and try to make some gold, but once again you need to, you need to know your market, so set aside a couple of weeks and just scan the auction house and check out how stuff works, when are items at their highest point and when are they at their lowest points, what times of the day do they sell the most, because on most realms, if you post an auction at 6am, that's going to be when the item is worth the most, because when people wake up in the morning, they're not really going to be bothered to farm for stuff, usually people farm around when they come home from work or when they're in the evening, when they're just bored of the game and just have nothing to do, they just sit down, watch a TV show and farm, so if you're going to post an auction and you want to get the most out of your item, post it early in the morning as early as possible. And yes, that's pretty much it. And now we go over to sniping. Sniping an item is pretty much somebody messing up on the auction house and posting. Basically, maybe they don't click the per unit button and they press the per stack uh, option. So they might put up a stack of 200 anchor weed for 500 gold per stack. So you get 200 anchor weed for 500 gold, making it 3 gold or 2.5 gold per anchor weed, just because they forgot to press per unit. And you can snipe that and make tons and tons of gold. I would say this might be the best way to make gold, but it's it's not the best stable one, because flipping items is really stable and you can make a lot of gold over a long time. But sniping, kinda, you're relying on people to make a mistake. By flipping the auction house, you're not really relying on anyone, you're just relying on yourself to control the market. Flipping, sniping items, I mean, you need someone to make a mistake, and usually this is when people use an add-on to post an auction for X amount of the vendor price. So for example, if they get a BOE worth 500k, but the vendor price is 50 gold, and they have their add-on set to post auctions for 10, 10 times, for, for 10 times the vendor value. They're gonna post that item that can be vended for 50 gold for 500 gold because that's 10 times the vendor value. But you know that that BOE they just posted for 500 gold is worth 500,000 gold. So you wanna be the first one to snipe those, but even on my realm, which is a medium to low population realm, we already have five different snipers that I know about, and they're using add ons to snipe the market as well. So if you're gonna be a sniper, 
you need to know which add-ons work in your favor and how to actually do the sniping itself, which I haven't really tried that much myself because all I'm doing is farming gold and flipping items on the auction house. I haven't really gotten into sniping yet, but I know that works as well. Several of my guildmates made millions of gold in BFA just by sniping epics because people keep on posting them. I don't know if they just have an add-on to actually post them for 10 times the value of selling, but like we've actually done some research when they buy stuff and sometimes it's actually 10 times the vendor value. So if the vendor value is 52 gold, the auction is going to be posted for 520 gold exactly. So it's exactly 10 times the vendor value, which leads me to think that there has to be an add-on they're using to actually post these auctions for 10 times the vendor value, but also says sometimes it's just someone messing up and like, instead of posting in 53,000 gold, they just forget about the thousand and they press K or something and it just becomes 53 gold and some of my guildmates snipe those as well so I snipe an epic worth several thousand gold for 50 gold. It's just like, I don't know how the, how people mess up the market that much but like for me, when I'm in a rush, I don't, I don't always remember to press the per unit button so I put up a stack of 100 anchor weed for, I think it was 700 gold because I was going to put them up for 700 gold each after I flipped them. And I lost out on 100 anchor weed just because I forgot to push the prep per unit button. So I sold my 100 anchor weed for 700 gold, which is 7 gold each. I messed up, I'm not gonna lie. But a lot of people do that, and when people do that, you wanna be the first one to capitalize on their mistake. So you wanna have an add on constantly scanning the auction house, and you wanna like scan it for prices under a certain percent. So you have like 100% and then going down and down and down, like in terms of how good the deal is and so on. So for example, if an item is usually worth 50k gold and it's posted for 50 gold, that's going to be a 1% and you make tons of profit, right? So you want to have an add-on costly scanning that and when you see something popping up, you just press a button and buy it automatically. I think that's how it works, but I haven't really gotten into it, but basically this is how you make tons of gold in the game. You need to know the market really well. So you need to set aside several weeks to actually try to get to know the market so you can flip the auction house flip items, snipe items, and just play in the auction house itself. This is also a really boring way of making gold if you ask me, because all you're doing is standing in Stormwind or Orgrimmar 24-7, doing nothing, scanning the auction house, it's kinda boring, but at the same time, if you have macros or add-ons set up to do this for you, you can be watching YouTube, Twitch, uh, TV shows, whatever, so it can be chill as well, but in my opinion, I love gold farming, so I'm not really that into this, but every morning when I post my auctions, I usually have two items that I'm flipping right now, which is the Great Sea Ray, and I usually check out the Dune Scavenger as well, but mainly it's the Great Sea Ray and Anchor Weed. I'm still trying to kind of control the market on Anchor Weed, but I'm not doing that good of a job, because right now they've gone down to 500 gold, and I'm thinking that today after this uh, video right now, I'm gonna buy out every auction of Anchor Weed for 500 gold, and post them for 800 gold and keep 800 to 900 gold and keep control of the market for Wednesday and sell them for that much. And I'm also going to make flasks as well to sell for even more. So hopefully I'm going to make my gold back and some good profit, but I'm going to just have to wait and see. But I hope you enjoyed the video guys, and if you did then leave a like down below and I'll see you around. Peace out.